Rankin County family is seeking answers after they say their toddler died at a Brandon daycare. The family says their three-month-old daughter, Maisie Grace, died while at the Children's Center at First Baptist Church in Brandon. Quentin Smith speaks with the child's parents in this Three on Your Side investigation as they plan to take legal action against the daycare. Carson Show says he's been living a nightmare since his daughter died back in March. He says she suffered an aneurysm after she was left unattended for more than an hour. And he says what's even more troubling is that he believes no one at the daycare is being held responsible. <laughs> that looks like you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what about that one? As Carson shows and Luna look at pictures of Maisie Grace. She only smiled when I <laughs> yawned. The two are all smiles. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> but then sadness sets in knowing the three month old is no longer with them. My three month old daughter's life is in a box. Having something that precious taken away from you is awful. No parent should ever feel that. Nobody should ever have to go through this, ever. It all dates back to March 31st. That's when Shows says his daughter was in daycare at First Baptist Church in Brandon. Shows says the toddler was diagnosed with torticollis. It's a condition where a child's neck muscles causes their head to tilt to one side. Show says the daycare knew about this condition and knew not to place Maisie Grace down on her right side. He says a police report and detective, along with medical staff, detailed what the daycare worker did that day. She put her in her crib on her right side against the back of the crib with a bib and pacifier in her mouth. And she flipped face first for 68 minutes. Once the worker finally saw what was happening, she called for help and CPR was administered. She had a, uh, an aneurysm and then they uh, rushed her to the hospital and we were told uh, basically there was nothing that we could really do. When it comes to the worker who was in the room. She admitted fault, 100%. She admitted everything. Show says that's according to police. Afterwards, the father alleges that the daycare tried to help the family with medical expenses. The daycare is calling me and my wife saying that they got 10 grand to put up for uh, hospital charges. And so then they acted like they want us to settle for 10,000 and just let it go. So we said no to every bit of it. The Mississippi Department of Health says it is aware of this incident and that an investigation is currently underway. The health department says the daycare called and reported the incident, saying infant care was suspended pending our investigation. The facility subsequently entered into a consent agreement voluntarily surrendering infant care of the program until further notice. Show says the workers involved in this incident are still at the daycare. Now he's calling for them to be removed. The workers there need their license pool for sure and the lady that was running the place at the time should not ever be running a daycare again. We reached out to the Brandon Police Department. Police are investigating this death, and at this time, an arrest has not been made. The department says it's waiting for the autopsy report to come back from the state crime lab, which will give them the exact cause of the toddler's death. Show says he's being told it could be eight months to a year before the autopsy report comes back. Now we reached out to the daycare. The administrator says she cannot comment at this time. Quentin Smith, three on your side.